Hello everyone. So as you can see, I am in the forest at the moment. I tried filming an intro to this while I was like walking around, but I kept getting really distracted and also like kind of puffed out from <laughs> walking and talking at the same time. Cause I kept seeing like mushrooms and bones and stuff everywhere, which are my favorite things. So of course, I also found this kangaroo skull down here. Where is he? There he is. I found him just now, so I'll show you a close-up of him. He's really cool. It's like one of the biggest story skulls I've ever found. But anyway, I'm here in the pine forest again, hanging out, looking for mushrooms and bones and other cool stuff. And of course, I wanted to bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna take this skull that I found and put it somewhere really obvious so I remember to come back for it. And then we will continue trekking through the woods. Here's my find. I, um, I'll start walking while I do this. I found a few different skulls on my way here to this spot. I found like three or four and I keep like putting them in spots where I remember to see them and pick them up. This is the first complete one that I've found. They've all been pieces of skulls, like usually it's the back that I keep finding. I'm not sure if you heard it before, I put it in another clip, but I could hear a bunch of like kookaburras and stuff. Found some more bones here, but I'm pretty sure these are from a sheep. Definitely not a kangaroo. You can see the whole arm articulation there. Well, that would definitely be the front leg. I don't know how well you can see them from here because I can't really get in there, but there's more sheep bones. And they're like the same parts as the other bones I found not far away, so they could be from the same sheep. A little moment there where I panicked I thought I lost you guys I left you um sitting on a log to get a nice shot and then, like I walked too far and I was like shit my first video and I've lost the camera I'm still getting used to like where to hold this so sorry if like some of the angles are really awkward I'm so new to this setup oh, I see a mushroom hey, mushroom Ooh, he's cold Ooh, he's slimy So I just finished filming those mushrooms and then I look up and there's more over there that are the same kind and they are absolutely massive. They are enormous. Let's go look at them. They are so freaking cool. I looked up and I was like, oh my God, amazing. And they're right next to some bones. Ooh, I wonder what kinds those are. Oh my God, those are massive too. Oh, okay. There's a lot to look at here. These are like the massive mushrooms. I'll show you a close up. And then like right next to them, those bones, if you can see, they're so big. They're monsters. And there's the bones. More slimy mushrooms. Look at that. It's a monster. Amazing. I think this is more sheep bones. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's life, there's death, I guess. I did not pick up the bones, they're a bit greasy. I walked through a spider web and it went like directly over my face and I can still feel the spider web like on my eyelashes. It's like stuck there and it's like stuck in my nose. Ugh. Ugh. Look at this big squishy mound of moss. I don't know if you can like see the scale of that, but and it was very squishy. It was very big. You can't really tell. I don't know how to get across. There's this massive tree in the way. Um, I guess I'll go around. Oh, I forgot about like how many dead trees I have to climb over when I'm here. Like, look at them all. Oof. I'm sinking into the mulch of the dead trees. Oh Christ. Okay. <laughs> oh sort of not really a clearing but it's a lot easier to get around in this part which is good i think i'll go down this way let's do that
pretty sure I know where I am though because I came around here last time, not the specific spot but like further down there so there's like a big paddock of sheep and kangaroos and stuff so it's really good like landmark so I don't get lost because I'm really good at getting lost. <laughs> Actually, you know what, I think we should go that way. YOLO, let's do it. <laughs> Does anyone even say YOLO anymore? I mean, I only ever say it as a joke. Man, it is just so pretty here. Like this path in particular with all the green, it's so beautiful. Look at this random black tree I found. Isn't it weird? It looks like it's burnt, but it's strange that like none of the other trees around it are. How weird. It's a wattle tree in the middle of all the pine trees. Do you see that? It looks so out of place there. But this is a pretty nice spot as well. I like it. And there is so much of that like natural crystal stuff. Look at it all. It's everywhere. And like all the white specks that you can see. Those crystals are getting out of here again. I think I want to keep going back up the path that I have. I had a giant branch stuck to my shoe. So we've come at a like a fork crossroads. What do you call it? I don't know, where there's like two or three different directions you can go. So there is this way this way and I'm really curious about what's up there but I felt committed to going that way. <laughs> Man it is so like difficult trying to figure out what I'm doing here. See down there looks like really interesting. Look at that. You can see like hills and more trees and vineyards and then that way there's a branch but a branch I mean a tree that's a whole tree. I think I can get over that. I don't know maybe I'll do both. I'm just so curious. I feel like actually maybe I've been around here like last time because like that clearing looks kind of familiar but I could be like totally wrong. And there's more of those weird black trees. Do you see them? Where are they? There. When my mum and I were driving up here to our location we saw so many rainbows. It was amazing. I've never seen that many rainbows in one day. And like we kept seeing the ends of them. Like you know how you never really see the end of the rainbow? We saw them multiple times. I could see the rainbow in front of trees instead of like behind them. And they were up really close. And there were a couple of times that we even drove through the rainbow. It was so cool <laughs> and weird. Like I've never experienced that before. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Oh look, there's like more of that, that crystal stuff. It's like everywhere here. Look at it all. And there's so much of it. I feel like the pine trees here are bigger than where I was before. I really shouldn't go too far though because uh, I promised that I would be back by about five o'clock and I think I've got like under an hour. Wow look at that big dead tree! It's like right there. It's cool we should go look at that. This is absolutely massive. I wish you could see it in person so you could really see like the scale of how big it is. Even just like put my hand on it. It's, it's huge. So right after I jumped off that big tree, ooh, my backpack, <laughs> better remember to pick that up later, um, I like turned around and I saw this absolutely massive tree and I wonder if it's from the same one, because look. And I wonder if like, they're part of the same tree.
It is so high up there. It's like, ooh, it's fairly easy to climb, but um, it's like up so high. It's so weird. I'll try and show you what it's like from up there, because it's pretty cool. Look at that tree. It's so cool how it's growing right out of there. This really makes me wish I had that wide angle lens. <laughs> It looks way cooler when it's more zoomed out. Man, I'm hearing so many weird sounds around here. That actually might have been me. Wait. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I spooked myself. I like brushed my bag against this branch and I thought it was an animal or a human or something. It was me. Which I guess is an animal or a human or something. But also, look at my poor shoes. I only got these like a couple days ago. This is my second time wearing them and they're wrecked. Got like ropes and stuff. Lucky they were second hand, I guess. I am pretty much done. I am really tired now. Um, I did so much walking and navigating because <laughs> there were a few times there where I really thought like oh shit I think I might be lost but I found my way back. I have my landmarks which were those like big dead trees that I showed you guys so that was really helpful that I paid special attention to those. Yeah and I'm heading back now. I've been out for like maybe like two or three hours which was the plan so that works out. I'm like looking around because I keep thinking that I'm seeing more bones but I think it's just bits of bark. Anyway so thank you guys for coming along with me on this little adventure once again. It's been really fun. I filmed like a lot of footage so I don't know how long this is going to be. I try to keep my videos like under half an hour. It's funny because it used to be that I'd try to keep them under 10 minutes and that it's not a thing anymore. <laughs> bye bye forest. See you next time. So <laughs> Man, everything's just so beautiful. I can't stop looking around. <laughs> oh, I found another bone. Oh, it's a scaffold. Oh my god, so distracted. You see what I mean? Okay. <laughs> really need to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.